Werewolf by Night was released by Marvel Studios on Disney+, Plus, and this is what we've been waiting to see from the Marvel Cinematic Universe for quite some time. It's lost. This Halloween special marks a new era for the future of the MCU, a much scarier and darker one. And we're all for it. The TV special was directed by Michael Giacchino, and this was actually his directional debut. Now after watching Werewolf by Night, we're desperate to see what he'll do next behind the camera. Giacchino is a very well-known film score composer in Hollywood and has delivered incredible scores for movies such as The Batman and Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Who knew that he was also an incredibly talented filmmaker? Well, we suppose Marvel president Kevin Feige knew. When it was first announced that Marvel was going to be making a Halloween TV special based on their character Werewolf by Night, we were intrigued. However, we also thought that they might not be able to do the character justice. Werewolf by Night is violent, bloody, and pretty dark. However, they actually took the TV special to places we weren't expecting. We do believe the fact that it was filmed in black and white allowed Giacchino to really push the boundaries. There's one fight scene in the show that is hands down the most brutal, bloody, and gory we've ever seen in the MCU. Oh my. We genuinely believe this marks the beginning of a new era for the MCU, and we haven't been this optimistic about the future of Marvel movies for a very long time. It demonstrates that they're willing to go to darker places and explore more obscure and slightly scary characters. We were also very impressed with the cast's performances in this special. Gael Garcia Bernal stars in this special as Jack Russell, aka Werewolf by Night, along with Laura Donnelly and Harriet Sansom Harris. The three of them are all wonderful, but we have to say that Harris stole the show for us. She was very over the top, but in a wonderfully 1920s and 30s horror movie kind of way, which we loved. Thank you. It was great how much this TV special made us think of the classic Universal Monster movies, and also the Hammer horror films that we watched as kids. Some of the scenes harken back to such films as The Bride of Frankenstein and Christopher Lee's Dracula, which we're massive fans of. We also saw a lot of Nosferatu in this special. There were some scenes that used silhouettes in the same way that that film did. It's a TV special that we think anyone who's into film history might enjoy because there are a lot of callbacks to those classic horror films to which modern cinema owes a huge debt. The fact that this particular project was made as a TV special is also quite a novelty and brings to mind some of the scary TV specials that used to be shown on television during the Halloween season. Boy, is it scary. Honestly, this is the perfect watch for this time of year, and we also think that it shows the MCU is moving forward and evolving, which is very, very important as it started to become slightly stale in our opinion. Bit dusty, isn't it? The one thing that we would have liked, and this isn't really a criticism, more just wishful thinking, is for this TV special to have been a bit longer than it was. We just felt as though it was a bit short at just over 54 minutes long. We were so enthralled by what was going on that we didn't want it to end. We also hope that this doesn't end up being a one-off sort of thing in the MCU. We want the studio to make more movies and TV shows like Werewolf by Night. We think the MCU desperately needs it. Is an option. All in all, we really enjoyed Werewolf by Night. Like everything else these days, it had mixed reviews, so let us know what you thought of Werewolf by Night in the comments. We do read all of them. If you enjoyed this video, check out our news and exclusives playlist, and please like and subscribe, as that helps build our channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.